Hi, I'm Laurie Yusufer with the Fiercely Independent Network. We're here at Upstate Film Theater to see the screening of The Garden Left Behind. Making a film is extremely difficult, as uh, all independent filmmakers know. You have to be fiercely independent, and, uh, and that's why we're also here. Uh, the more we get to meet more filmmakers, we know that it takes more than six, seven, eight, sometimes ten years to finish a film, but especially this one had even more of a challenge uh, from the development phase to the screenwriting, the research with all the communities involved to make this happen, and uh, the post-production and the launch. And we had to fight a lot of uh, checkpoints to get this film out there, and uh, we're happy to be here in Woodstock. The pushback that we've had is that um, people don't think there should be a sad ending or they're looking for a different type of ending but the truth is is that's how a lot of trans women lives end. I always like to say this is a uh, coming of age story about a community that often does not come to, of age and so if it's relevant then you should show it. You should be honest about what's going on in the communities that you're doing film about. You can't just make up your own ending if that's not true to light what that ending is. It was, it was not an easy process, you know, but um, we are so glad now that we have more than 50 trans uh, women, especially, you know, and that now it's an industry, you know, they're playing pose, and some of them are pose, you know, different shows, you know, so, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, I was in a position as a director to elevate those voices, you know, to bring all those people to the forefront and show, like, uh, it's possible. I'm a little guy, I made it. You guys can make it. I think Ivana put it beautifully. I mean, this, this was a character who was so emotionally conflicted and there was no out for him. Um, but taking a step back, I think the important thing is, is that we're having this conversation. Um, Tina is so relatable in this film that you know, unfortunately, we live in a society where people hear, there are people who hear about transgender people getting killed, and they just assume they know why, right? But here we're asking why, and everyone who watches this film is asking why. Yeah. Why? So that's, that's what we should be focusing on. I think that's the most important part, is that we're opening that discussion. I don't think there's a single person that could watch this film and not ask that question. For more information, visit www.woodstockfilmfestival.org.